Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the audio cast from Good Security. I'm your host and guide, Anand Banerjee. The global risk sentiment is looking quite positive. Equity markets are higher, dollar index is lower. USDCNH has pulled back from almost 7.25 to 7.2180 cash pass. So USDCINR should be opening lower, 81.9697 cash pass. Spot reference is trading in the offshore, which means July futures can open around 82.04.06 cash beach. Now, last few days, 81.85 or 82.20. This has been the broad range in USD. Anna. The next move can happen once this range breaks. Either 82.20 breaks and it heads towards 82.40, or it breaks 81.80 and heads towards 81.60. 81.60 over the past few months has held out pretty well. So that's going to be the next port of call once we break through 81.80, 85 support. Now, how to play? Scalpers, keep these levels in mind. If you are trying to buy on dips, then your stop loss sh- should be below 81.85. If 81.85 can reach, then it makes sense to go short and attempt um, and play a move towards 81.70 at least, and then 81.60. On the way up, 82.20 is an important resistance. So, uske aspas you, uh, you can short, but in case it's breaking above 82.20, then don't be on the longs. Uh, don't be on the short on the USD because it can head towards 82 to 40 levels. So scalping between 81, 85, 82, 20 can be done. Selling higher and uh, buying low using futures. Short straddle traders be yeah levels pe dhyan dena padega. Because in case this range, this narrow range is breaking with the implied volatility at at record lows uh, and very low. Straddle premium or strangle premiums. You have to keep this in mind. Even a 30, 40 paisa move can create losses on your uh, on your position. Our cross currencies may we can see a slight up move in uh, GBP INR. Arch Euro INR did not fall much in spite of a very poor uh, German IFO numbers. Kal do pair ko. Today the f- uh, focus will be on the US. Durable goods numbers, which will be seen on the broader dollar index. And which impact will be seen on the broader dollar index. But as far as the intraday trading is concerned, GBP INR can trade with an upward bias. Euro INR can be range bound. And as far as the yen INR is concerned, we could see a slight down move. So yen INR may the bias continues to be downward. GBP INR may upward, and Euro INR may is expected to be range bound for the day. So that's it, folks. This is Anand Banerjee signing off. A fantastic day.